Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT Diana M I G H T. It's been a long time. Oh my god, dude! It has been forever. It's been what three months since we dropped a hot track of the podcast for them folks out there. <laughs> don't, 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 we're gonna start like that. Yep, we're gonna start just like gonna that. We're gonna get right back into get it. Get right like back that. into it. All right, fair, All right we're not coming fair. to you live anymore. It's season four of the Crazy Town Podcast. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the Corona Cast. It's lockdown time. Wow. Quarantine across the country. Demonetized. We might as well drop some more podcasts for you. We are no longer live. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do some quick hits for you. Gonna be shorter podcasts. You know what? 15, 20, 25, maybe. See how it goes. Maybe try to do a couple a week. Who knows? When we come, we're going to have plenty of time, I guess is what we're trying to say. Yeah, you just like what you get. Mm-hmm. Take it. As always, make sure you follow us on... We don't even use social media anymore. <laughs> I don't got... Follow us on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube under Crazy Town Media. Uh, and at Crazy Town Media on Twitter. We You're don't... On Spotify. I mean, at Crazy... Yeah, at, at a Crazy Town uh, Podcast on Twitter. Yeah, we are on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, all the podcast places. TNT, what have you been doing for three months, dude? Freaking working, dude? No, actually, I took like two months off. Of yeah, dude, you haven't been working since we since we stopped. <laughs> what do you mean? I have not been working for the last month and a half, two months. Now. Yeah, dude, you've been at it. Yeah. Well, I'm still working. Get back in there, you know. Yeah, dude. Trying to stay healthy, you know. So uh, we try. figured we would bring back the podcast. We've had some extra time. We're ahead on the YouTube channel. We want to bring you some hot effing takes. We can swear. Some hot fucking takes. Dropping F bombs, dude. We can do it. You are like just on like cloud nine. Dude, right I'm now. so dude, happy to get like, this shit back. You, <laughs> look at you. Happy, dude. Dude, this is just so exciting. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's cool. I like I like to see you happy. Sir. Swear for me. <laughs> shit. <laughs> awesome. Uh yeah, the world has changed a lot since the last time we put one of these out. Uh yeah, man, it's pretty rough out there right now. It's the real world. Yeah, I was excited for Christmas last time we did one. Yo, Christmas is is <laughs> canceled this year. Twenty twenty is effing canceled. Yeah, it's yeah, canceled. dude. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't know what to say about it either, man. I don't really feel like I'm the authority to give anybody any advice on anything as to what to do during these difficult times. I agree. I am not either. I am um, not an expert, but uh, where where are we at? Like almost four hundred thousand cases in the world right now. I don't know. Stuff's on lockdown. I don't know. I mean, I assume. Um, I I listen to a lot of New York based uh, media. Um, and it is like it's a totally different place up there. Like they they have been like you have to stay home for the majority. There's still yeah. like a lot of people out apparently, but. Like, yeah, you got to stay in the house. Yeah. I saw somewhere that uh, New York has more cases in, like, France or something. Like, it's, like, New York State. <laughs> like, something ridiculous like that. Uh, I'm not going to co-sign that without any proof. But Truth yeah. not facts, dude. <laughs> I know. I'm just That's very, your motto. I'm just very wary about spreading false information in, yeah, in, dude, in, I, in a time like this. This literally will probably be most the only time we talk about the coronavirus on the podcast, if we can help it. Unless Ish gets real real, we might bring up some other stuff. Yeah. It's just already real, but yeah, we want to bring you something that lightens the heart. Talks about the world in a different way, because things are kind of gloomy at the moment. You know what I mean? Gloomy. We, uh, we're still going to bring you news takes. We're going to talk about it. Yeah, what are we going to talk about today, John? You, uh, it's funny you mentioned uh, New York. The first story is going to magically whisk us away to Troy, New York, Florida. And New York... Is that you? That's Beyonce. Is that your cut? That's Beyonce. That Beyonce. Beyond In New Dynamite? York. Bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes. Is that what it is? <laughs> it's a meme. Jonas, okay. I, I'll play it for you. It's really good. Bacon, bacon, pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love bacon. I don't really like pancakes, though. How about bacon pancakes? Uh, I don't like baking pancakes either. No, bacon pancakes. Like pancakes with bacon in them? Heck yeah. Maybe. Yeah, right? Pancakes are syrup sponges, dude, and that's my take. But if it had bacon in it, you get the sweet and the salt. I mean, dude, 
I'll eat anything with bacon on it. I know it. It's so good. If bacon came wrapped around the head of a. <laughs> you can say it story? on this. What's your story? You can say it, dude. I'm not. I don't know, dude. I'm Troy, not, New York. The, these stories are a little that. dated. You know, there's a lot of news about viruses and things. Sure. They uh they came up with a new law. It said so instead of like uh, for most misdemeanors, mm. they they were gonna eliminate cash bail. And just basically give like an appearance, uh, like a summons to appear ticket and let the person go for general misdemeanors. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful idea, right? <laughs> I love the story already, and I'm not trying to cut it, but it just seems so toned. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like, mother, you worried about bail? <laughs> Right. How am I gonna eat? Yeah, yeah. I feel you. We're trying no, to keep, keep it going. Keep it trying going. Trying to give you something light, you know. No, keep it going, dude. It's so fine. It's fine. It's there fine. was a man. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem so trivial, doesn't it? We're out here talking about cash bail <laughs> and <laughs> stuff is real out here. But hey, people are gonna come back. They're gonna be like, listen to these guys. They're trying to keep it lighthearted out there. Motherfucker, I got kids. <laughs> You're not laughing about the fact that people are starving. You're laughing about the fact that it's so trivial to be talking about <laughs> <laughs> this thing right now. All right, keep it going. Keep it going. So, okay. stay, on, stay on top target. So there was a man named Scott Nolan. <coughs> he uh, he, he has quite the crime history. He said his crime history is 50 pages long. That's enough. He <laughs> He's done a couple things. He, he, you, you've done enough now. You can stop doing crime. So uh, is... there, it was a random Tuesday. Mm. 9 a.m. He's at the local store. He's like, I ain't got no cash. I'm going to just put this right in my pocket. Stealing some bread from the hands of the chef. Yeah, well, you know, he, he probably needed it, Jonas. Maybe. He got caught, though. That's unfortunate. So they said, you know what, Scott Olin? This is a misdemeanor. We're going to write you a ticket. Stealing's a misdemeanor? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. For something light. He's not trying to steal like a... $25,000 gold chain. Yeah, I forgot Mr. Meaner was the lowest on the totem pole. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, you know, they were in little tickets. Just come on back on Thursday. See you in court, buddy. Mm. 2.30 p.m. rolls around. They run into Mr. Nolan again. <laughs> he just assaulted a man in the streets. They arrest him again for assault. That's not a misdemeanor. It is. Okay, well, I don't know. Like, if stealing is a misdemeanor and assault is a misdemeanor, where's the line? Uh, don't know. Can you walk it? How much assault can I get off before it's? Not a <laughs> How much can you get off before it's assault? <laughs> How many times can I punch you in the face before it's not a misdemeanor? Why don't we test it? Punch me. I'll call the cops. Jeez. Punch me again. I'll call the cops again. <laughs> yeah, just punch my roommate. <laughs> uh, well, you can't stop. <laughs> can't stop. Won't stop. Well, I'm gonna keep punching them until you say it's not a misdemeanor. Well, it's <laughs> until it's a felony. <laughs> Can I punch? Does he have to stop breathing? I can make that happen. <laughs> Does he have to choke on his own blood? I can make that happen. Wow, it got morbid pretty quick in here. <laughs> what? You're trying to go to jail for hitting me in the face, right? <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. All right. Keep it going. So, you know, they let him go. Yeah, fair. And then 430 rolls around. He's like, you know what? Get, getting arrested twice in one day is not enough. It never He decided is. to hit a person with a brick. <laughs> Just you know, a random person? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds, just, sounds like this guy's not very stable. Just a bystander? Yeah, dude. He's just, he was like, you know, he's just running around with a brick in his hand. I'm not mad at that. I feel hitting like hitting with a brick, you're not mad at that? No, dude. I feel like hitting people with bricks all the time. Have you ever used a weapon on someone? Like, even if it, like, not like, I obviously ever. you haven't been to jail for assault, but like, used have you ever been to a fight where you like, like, you were like, I had to like grab something to hit somebody with it? Huh. No. Me neither. I never have. I imagine if like it was a group of guys and they were trying to like jump me or something, then yes, weapon where he is a hundred percent. Other than that, man, I feel like you know, bring your fist. Yeah, I've taken L's and I've taken some W's too. <laughs> One time I was in the bar in Ashtabula mm -hmm. and I saw a man get a pool stick broken over his shoulder. See, that's nuts, man. Literally, like he swung it full bore and it snapped. Like he hit him from behind and it snapped over his shoulder, and I was like. Oh, did that and did a fight ensue? Oh, that was during a fight. Uh, like, like it was like six or eight people decided to like brawl inside the bar. A bar fight? Yeah, dude. I've actually witnessed a bar fight in Ashtabula. Huh? Yeah, it was at uh, it was at the Iroquois on Bridge Street. No idea. It's a bar that's been there forever. I think it's still there. 
It, it's I, named uh, after Indian. It's I would Native say Americans. that's one of the only times in my life that I was kind of like afraid. Because like Ish got real quick and they were like throwing chairs and like that dude got hit with a pool stick. And I was just like, what is going to happen in here? Is, is someone going to pull out a gun? Start shooting them efforts? You never know. Yeah, right. Exactly. You never like, know. Uh, there's not very many times that I've been like afraid. Like for my life. No, I wasn't afraid for my life, but I was just like, oh, God, yeah, yeah. uncertainty was like, what is going to happen in yeah. here? Because all it takes is for one person to pull out a gun and then another person to pull out a gun and then one of them to move their finger slightly. Right. And they're just shooting all over the bar. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in a situation where you were like, oh, man, I'm, I'm actually kind of scared. Like you, you always joke on the channel and stuff like I'm scared. Like, but like, like, no, I remember one time <laughs> in Ashabula, funny enough, <laughs> where I was, uh. I was hanging with Squeak, but I know I was hanging with somebody. I can't remember. I was hanging with somebody, and they were going to, they were like getting weapons and stuff, and they were like, hey, we're going to go ride on these fools who are like disrespecting me. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, that's not cool, man. If they're disrespecting you, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll come along with you. And then I realized that I knew like everybody in the other group. I'm like, yo, I can't fight these guys. I'm like, no, I'm like, dude, that's my friend. I can't fight these guys. Wow, like, so you had like two rival friends that were like hadn't beef they had to squash. Yeah, but I was just like, so like when we pulled, we like pulled up in the car like deep, and they're like they have weapons and stuff, and I had some too. The people in the car did. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's not like I've ever been like a street a street dude or nothing like that. <laughs> I was a street hustler. Yeah, but they were just like, "Hey, you should come, just be there and look big." And I was <laughs> like, "Yo, I can do that. <laughs> I can do I that." Just gotta stand up. Yeah, and if something were to pop off, and like somebody, you know, if it's a one on one, and then I see more people jumping in, like, yeah, I'm not gonna let anybody get like stomped out. Right, right, exactly. And then I realized I knew the other people, and I was like, "Oh." Well, I can't do that. So I wouldn't say I was scared, but that was like an awkward moment. Yeah, I dude. Yeah. I don't like awkward. I fear being awkward. Yeah. But have you ever been in like a situation where stuff was happening around you and you're like, this uncertainty is like kind of scary? Eh, I don't. Yeah. It's hard for me to even reminisce, man, about stuff like that. I told you about the story when I was a, a kid and somebody pulled a gun out and somebody in the middle of the street. Oh, yeah. 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 So I guess that's probably the closest thing. Yeah. I guess I've had like neighborhood kids like pull a knife around me or something. Right, that's yeah. happened before. That was probably yeah. That was probably like the only time. Like, and it, and it was it was so quick and it was over and it was done. I didn't like traumatize me or anything. I wasn't like scared the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. But it was just like, just like it happened so fast and escalated so quickly. I was like, is Ish gonna pop off in here? Yeah. Is shit gonna. Pop Why am I not swearing? So you said not swearing. No, you've ne you never like had anybody point a gun at you. Not nah, no, I don't think so. You want like, you want to point guns at each other so we can <laughs> kind of acclimate ourselves to it. I bit? mean. I could point the gun at you, you point it at me. We just <laughs> can, can you act really mad and tell me that, like, this is it? Break yourself? Yeah. I'll <laughs> even, like, shoot you a couple times if you want. <laughs> I'll come in your room while you're sleeping and tap you on the forehead with it and be like... <laughs> just pistol whip you awake? <laughs> <laughs> like, you <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> Wake up, motherfucker! <laughs> You're like, I'm like, why? You're like, oh, nothing. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> you wonder why I lock my door when Yo, I sleep. This reminds me, um, to, funny enough, of a story that I heard of, which is like, it's it's so it's so minute, but there's a, uh, I guess he's a rapper. He's more like a producer anyway. His name is Youngberg, and he had a young lady over his house. Okay, and then he had been seeing this woman for i guess like the better part of a year okay right has her over the house and then she starts making uh comments about oh let's go get in the hot tub and he was like no nah, i'm good it's kind of cold out i don't really feel like why don't we just chill here drink or whatever and then she was like yeah but i really want to get in the hot tub started doing things this is all like conjecture by the way right, but right. started doing things to try to get him to go out to the hot tub like seducing him to get in the hot yeah, tub. Like, yeah, why don't you yeah, get in the yeah. hot tub? I'll show you why it's a good thing. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So then he notices on his motion detector cameras that there are four large males surrounding his home. And then he notices that they start trying to break into his uh his gated home. Oh wow. And then he notices that this girl starts attacking him. 
and trying to let the men in. Oh, wow. She sold them out. Yo, she lined him up. So, being himself and being what I would feel would be any man in this situation, he pulls a gun out. She starts attacking him. He pistol whips the chick. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's literally trying to set him up. Like literally if, trying if to. If she's keeping him busy, those dudes are coming in and getting him. Yeah, literally trying to put your life in danger. Right, exactly. So, I, I get it. So it was uh, it was all over social media about how uh, he had hit this woman and he had, like he pistol whipped this woman. And then he's like, no, motherfuckers. I called the cops. I hit this bitch because she was trying to rob me. Right. And there's four dudes outside of my home. Right. That actually reminds me of a story my cousin told me. He's he's no longer with us. Rip. So I can tell the story now. He used to uh, not be... He used to s slang some things. <laughs> uh, he, Garrett, way to ruin his legacy. No, I'm kidding. No. But uh, he told me a story about he... Um, one time he used to live above... He was like staying in the room above a garage, like a, a loft. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had these girls over. And they came up and they were hanging out and they were partying. And they were like, uh, oh, hey, I got to run down to my car real quick came back up with like three dudes with guns and they robbed him Yo. like like they just like I mean, what could he do i mean they didn't like hit him or they just came in took all his stuff mm -hmm. and left and like because he had his door all locked he had like a security system but yeah he had girls over and they were just like yeah i'll be right back i got i, I left my i left my smokes in the car or whatever went down boom and he was like that's crazy isn't, man. That, isn't that shitty dude yo you wonder why I don't trust these. <laughs> it's like Mona, Lisa. Yeah, not right? <laughs> right. It really is. Not that I even got like enough money or illegal illegal narcotic that a chick right. would want to right. rob right. me. Right. But I'm not like I'm not in a standing where someone's gonna hang out with me so they can rob me. <laughs> Jonah, I really think we need to get an effect of how these women, Jonas, have just been mm. hurting men. Men do For it too. Life though. though, man. Yeah, but they get away with it a lot more. Really? Yeah, they do, man. I know you got another story, Jonas, but this is <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm, I'm sick of these women getting away with it. With what? With like shit. setting dudes up? Not even no, not that, man. I mean just like the way that the way that the social and gender norms are. Okay. <sighs> All right, so I was at work the other day. And, of course, Home and Garden television was on because that's what the women like to watch. So I'm watching Home and Garden, and then I see a man and his wife shopping for a home. Okay, is it like House Hunters or something? Yes. Okay, gotcha. And then, like, the cameras are rolling, and I'm sure they probably told her, you know, you got to get some emotion in there and cry or something. Right, right. Yeah, they, they always ham it up for the... The dude is like... He's like, nah, I don't know if I really like this house. He doesn't really have some of the modern amenities that we need. This woman literally starts crying and saying, I just, it just really sucks that we're not on the same level right now. And I'm like, bitch, like, I could never get away with that, Jonas. Like, crying because, like, you want, I mean, you might be able to. No, no, Jonas, look, we are, no, bullshit. <laughs> we are human fucking adults, Jonas. We have a conversation. We come up with the most logical and the ethical and we gotta there's a lot of things we gotta consider not just well i really think it sucks that we're not on the same level shut the fuck up <laughs> wow <laughs> that's what i gotta say well i've heard with those shows a lot of times they already know what house they're picking before they even go see like the other houses I know. and it's all built so it's like literally just for drama i know but it makes me it made me so mad jonas and it just like it my penis fucking it curled up and just like went Kate like a, felt it tickle the back of your throat. <laughs> it was like a Galapagos turtle the way it like put its neck back into my body. Burrowed like, back into your soul. <laughs> Jesus. Man, I, I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. One sure no, really you know, that. And the thing is, is that, look, I can already see it, man. You're affected. You're affected. I'm dude. affected? Yes. What's what's that mean? You overvalue in the vagina. Wow. <laughs> there goes all our female <laughs> listeners. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What? Where's this coming from? I don't you, know, man. You see I'm, dynamite over I'm here. Not even, look, dude, I sound like a fucking incel. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I know it. TNT incel. No, money. <laughs> dude, no. Because I don't hate women, though. No, I you don't. don't. 
I, you, I there has been many a time that you're like, nah, man, it's just they're I, just women. They're like just like we're men. I get it, man, but I'm just I'm. Eh. <laughs> they just get away with it, man. And there's other shit in there. Like, yeah, there's some other shit, but I don't have to go through it because I choose not to. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man, man, it's crazy out there. So back to uh, Mr. <laughs> Troy. <laughs> So, yeah, dude, he was arrested three times in one day. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the guy. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude, he's arrested three times in one day, doesn't go to jail anytime he gets three tickets to go back to court. Y'all, like, where the hell is three strikes? He had three strikes in one fucking day, dude. Uh, yeah, man. I, well, I mean, they're misdemeanors, right? Well, except for but the assault. Still, dude, like, assault ain't a misdemeanor. That's like if you get yeah, two speeding tickets in the same day, they should take. They should, like, take your license away. Wow. You Outrageous. know that shit has happened before. Oh, yeah. I know 100%. someone that's happened to. <laughs> no, they got no. They got two cell phone tickets in the same day. They were talking on their phone, got pulled over, drove down the street a little bit. The cop pulled back up behind them, saw them back on their phone, and pulled them over again and gave them another Damn. ticket. Damn. It should be more the second time. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, so. It should definitely be more. But yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. That's that's crazy. That's a career criminal right there. He's got. Well, yeah, he has a fifty-page dude. He don't care. Mm-hmm. He hit a man with a brick. I wonder what were the, what were the circumstances of this, him hitting a man. Wait, with a brick? what would it take for you to take a brick and hit a man without like it being like a gang up situation? <laughs> like you're what just like, would, I'm so mad. Got this brick. I'm just gonna smack you in the face with it. What would it take? Yeah, like for me to hit a man with a brick. Right. That wasn't like like you said a gang up where there's like five on one. Uh, I, I don't know, <laughs> right, dude. Like they, they just like mom down. I guess like momentum. <laughs> it would probably take some of that. <laughs> Science, <laughs> yeah. Inertia, yeah. No, that's the other. That's the opposite of momentum. Yeah. For <laughs> momentum, what a dick. <laughs> yeah, that's about what it would take. Love it. Dude, I don't think I like. I don't think I could ever like hit a man with a brick. I'm not about like hurting people either. It's, nah, dude. Yeah, I think it's kind of like crazy how how uh, like boxers, kickboxers, MMA fighters, right? Yeah, that's like a little, that's I, I, it takes so much for me to get mad, like especially to fight a man for like like oh we supposed to fight? Let's just hate each other. <laughs> exactly. But I guess if it's like, but I guess if they were like, I want you to go out and punch this man in the face, and we're gonna give you a hundred thousand dollars, I'm like. I hope I hate this dude so much right now. <laughs> Cause if you honestly think about it, when you get out there, you're you're fighting that man to the death. Essentially. Essentially. Because you're hitting him with all intent on maybe not to kill him, but to at least make him stop. Like your life depends on Incapacitate because if, him. Yeah, yeah, because if he doesn't if you don't do it to him, he's gonna do it to you. Right. So it becomes fight or flight too, yeah. I think. It's and like I, I feel like it's to the death. I think like walking into an octagon like for UFC and like once the cage closes, like your first fight, it's like, oh shit, this is real. Like we are in a cage. I am fighting a man in a cage for money. Yeah, I have to fight this man to the death. <laughs> like your heart would just be like. Drrr. God, that must be an amazing feeling. <laughs> right? No, and then they get the high. Then they're chasing the purple mm, dragon forever. Dude. Mm, <laughs> then they're just like. So. Killing homeless people. But wait a second. <laughs> what? Did you just say that? No. All right, TNT. But guess what? what the happened? first episode is done. We only did one story. I know. We it... talked about how women have oppressed us for wow. years. <laughs> Don't even put me into that category, you fucker. You agree with it. So, but that is all the time we have. The first episode of the quarantine crazy town core cast. Qu- what do we say? Corona cast? Whatever we call it. The crazy town Corona cast. Yeah, man. Please make sure to like us and subscribe on YouTube. Uh, Spotify, follow us there. iTunes, at Crazy Town Media on pretty much all social media or at Crazy Town Podcast. But uh, yeah, for Jonas. No, guys. Stay, stay safe out stay there. Stay safe, guys. Wash your hands. <laughs> for Jonas. And your ass. TNT Dynamite. <laughs> we are. Oh.